Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Well YouTube Vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like me and if not, I hope you're manifesting, planning, and preparing for what it is that you want in life and then it should surely come to you guys. Yeah? Alright you guys, so jumping right into it for Difference World Vlog. This uh, vlog is going to be dedicated to our one year anniversary. Yay! I wish I had some sound bites for that. But um, June 18th, uh, last year 2020 is when we started our... Uh, I launched or debuted my YouTube vlog with you guys with my first YouTube vlog. And, you know, it's uh, 365 days later and so I'm here to, get, to give you guys... Um, uh, share with you all my journey and uh, how I started out, where I'm at with it now, and where I want to go with it within the next year or so with this YouTube channel. Um, you know, starting out like everybody else, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I didn't I just put the videos together, the lightning, the sound, equipment was real janky. Um, fast forwarding to now, you know, 365 days later or a year later, um, I, I've, I've gain so much knowledge and still have so much room to go. My main goal last year or, or, or when I first launched it was to uh, have consistent content um, before I launch and even while you know I'm, I'm growing my YouTube channel I'm looking at those who've gone before me and watching the steps that they took in order to have a, a, a successful YouTube channel and one of the main you know tips that they given was to making sure that you have consistent uh, content so when people come to your YouTube channel they have something to watch not just one or two videos and so um, <clears throat> I made it a point to just constantly at least once a month pop out at least two to three videos uh, so far we're up to 50 uh, uploads I know that doesn't sound like much for some, man, but for me, me doing it all by myself, mind you, with my Facebook, Instagram, you know, my Twitter page, even my website and doing my blogs, this is all me. And so I don't have a team just yet, and so I, I can give myself a pat on my back and then because I, I did the damn thing. Um, and so this year, what I want to focus on now is not only continuing to post great content and consistent content, uh, but I want to focus more on building my subscribers and uh, getting the following. And so, uh, as well as other goals, I want to, you know, have have better uh, visuals and sounding. And so, working on getting a green screen and a microphone, that's also uh, my goals for the second year of having my YouTube channel. Uh, as well as just to keep learning and keep growing. Uh, hopefully, by the end of 2022, I can have at least a thousand subscribers. Um, so that I can begin the process of starting to monetize on my YouTube channel. Like everybody else, I want to you know, make money off my YouTube. And so um, what I'm doing is just, you know, slow and steady, you know, watching what others have done. Um, paying attention to what content that, that's getting the most hits. A lot of people like my travel videos <laughs> more than my social videos. And so um, popping out more travel videos now is what I've learned, what gets more views. Um, as well as um, try to get at least 12,000 view hours. That's also one of the criteria you have to have in order to, you know, start monetizing your YouTube channel. 1,000 subscriber, subscribers, at least 12,000 uh, view hours of your channel, and I think it's something else as well. Um, so that's where I'm at with it, you guys, and and, and we're going to keep going, man. But again, when I first started this YouTube channel, I knew where I wanted to go with it and the direction, you know, with Third Eye Entertainment. We strive to bring social awareness to society through our products and services and with the services of me, you know, speaking and educating you guys about the social issues and bringing awareness to it. Uh, looking back on it, uh, I see where, you know, how, how some things, if I can, you know, go back on it, I would do it a little differently, but in any uh, in retrospect, I have stayed true, I, in my opinion, I've stayed true to my core values with posting, you know, pertinent and social awareness issues such as, you know, domestic violence, uh, suicide prevention, mental health awareness, injustice, systemic racism, you know, things of that nature, as well as I don't want to just bombard you guys with social awareness issues, I want you guys to be entertained and educated and inspired. So that is why I also, you know, do my travel vlogs and uh, do little pop culture videos talking about, you know, what's going on in today's society. So, 
um, <clears throat> that's where I'm at within my journey now. And so, look, moving forward within this this year now, what I'm working on, like I said, just continuing to build uh, my following and putting out more content and, and working my way towards building or, you know, monetizing on my YouTube channel. It is not easy. <laughs> it's hard, man. So, uh, anybody out there that's like me, that's in the beginning stage or, you know, still fresh being, you know, a YouTuber or uh, keep going, man. You know, don't give up. Don't give in. It's going to be hard in the beginning. It's always going to be hard beginning, middle, and end, but it's definitely going to be the hardest in the beginning. You just have to keep going and keep striving, man, and just know that at the end, hard work pays off. And so keep posting that content, keep building that following, and then you will get there eventually. Um, one of the main reasons why I also started my YouTube channel is because of one of the main reasons that I started my YouTube channel is to promote my new book or my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, it's a book that's written to inform and encourage thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And it's done through provocative illustrations. It provides a different perspective, detailing controversial deaths and events categorized by four main paradigm shifts. We've got historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. So if you want to, or you can, go to my website and get your copy, differenceworld.net. Please be advised that it does come with the disclaimers for intended for a mature audience only. So if you can't take this type of heat, then don't even bother coming to this kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, this is one of the main reasons why I have this YouTube channel as well, because, you know, just promoting myself and my product. Um... So, again, go to differencewell.net and get your copies. Uh, Juneteenth is tomorrow, so this would be a great product uh, for you guys to get involved and share and talk about, you know, uh, what what brought on and led to Juneteenth, man. And um, I'm going to be doing a vlog dedicated to that, too, as well. So be on the lookout for that uh, coming soon. Um, what else, you guys? In close out of, you know, my one-year anniversary YouTube vlog video, I do want to say, man, it is... Um, this is hard, man. <laughs> you know, it wasn't what I, what, I, what I expected it to be when I first started. I, I thought, you know, um, when I first posted, posted the video, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect to go viral. I'm not expecting to go viral right off the bat. Um, but, like I said, knowing what I know now and going into, into it my second year, I feel a lot more confident in myself. Uh, reaching out to other people to help me build my YouTube channel that know what they're doing. And so those are the next steps that I'm taking. And hopefully for those out there who are in the beginning stages like me, uh, they're working on their mess of plan as well. Also, you know, if anybody is watching this video and has been in a YouTube game for a minute, uh, you know, just let me know your thoughts and opinion on, you know, what you guys did to come up and, and what was it that, you know, attracts your audience and, and posting good content. What tips would you have for a, a fresh neophyte like me, you know, a new YouTuber like me? Let me know. So drop a comment below. After you guys watch this video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate all the love and support that I am getting, you guys. I don't have much subscribers now, man, but that's just how it starts. Once you keep going, you know, a year or two years from later, you know, from the, from once you started, you, you will be so much further than the where you begin, man. So that's why you have to keep going. It's only 50 subscribers now, but, you know, next year is going to be 50,000 subscribers and then on, man. And so I feel it coming. I believe in myself. And I manifest, plan, and prepare for whatever it is in life that I feel I'm destined for. And I know and, 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 and see that I'm destined for greatness. And so I'm manifesting, planning, and preparing, especially with my book. You know, it's about to be a number one bestseller. Even if nobody else can see it or believe it, I see it. I believe it. And I'm going to receive it. And so um, use me as an example, you guys. Those who don't believe, just sit back and watch. It might take a while for it to manifest and come to a head, but it will come to you guys. And so, with that being said, I want to close out by moving on to uh, also, again, keeping you guys in check with their mental health. Uh, June is Men's Mental Health Month Awareness Month. And so, men, I want you guys to make sure you're keeping your mental health in check, making sure, you know, you don't go off the deep end or take nobody with you. If there's anything inside that's bothering you, Please know that it is okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay, man. Y'all got to go get help, go talk with somebody, go pick up a hobby, even if it means, you know, getting on medications, man. Don't feel ashamed or, or embarrassed by it, man. 
You know, sometimes being a man and being grown about it is just admitting to yourself and to others, hey, I need to go and get help and get myself together for my family so I don't hurt them in the process. And so hats off and kudos to all men, black, white, Chinese, you know, gay, straight, that are able to, you know, admit to themselves and face the ugly truth within themselves and doing what it is that they have to do to keep their mental health in check. Not just the men, but the women as well, you guys. <laughs> We're all included in this. You know, keeping our mental health in check is important, you guys. And again, for those who are feeling any type of mental anguish, depression, anxiety, even dealing with bullying or feeling suicidal or having suicidal thoughts or know somebody that does, please give them this number, 1-800-273-8255. Or they can go to mentalhealthishealth.us.com or they can text 741-741 to, um, well, that's the text number that you guys can use if you, want, if you guys want to text. There's so many resources and options for you guys out there, man. Just don't use that excuse that there's nothing out there for you. It's something. You just got to get out there and look. Even if you're outside of the U.S., you need to go to this directory, incounseling.com. It gives the directory for all countries, crisis hotline, and website that people can visit. It's called incounseling.com, spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. So again, remember, it is okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay, you guys. Get help. Okay, so with that being said, you guys, we're going to close out our first year's anniversary. Hats off to Third Eye Entertainment LLC as well as Difference World YouTube channel for doing the damn thing. Then, And we're going to keep going up, up, up. And watch, come, come, come and learn, you guys, what you got to do, man. And so remember, whatever it is in life that you're planning for, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you guys. Difference World, come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.